Hello and welcome to 3 Auto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Artificial intelligence is playing a growing role in crypto trading, helping traders manage risk, automate strategies and make faster decisions in a highly volatile market. So to discuss how AI has impacted performance metrics and how the broader AI trend is shaping the future of trading, I am joined by Mr. Vikas Singh, the co-founder of X Trading, an AI-powered perpetual decentralized exchange. Welcome to 3 Auto TV, Mr. Vikas. Thank you, Vishaka. Thanks for being uh, Thank you. So it's a pleasure to have you. Now, as we know, Vikas, crypto markets are known for their volatility. How do AI models manage and adapt to such high levels of unpredictability? It's a very good question, Vishaka. Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, these kind of uh, AI models that are now coming up, they somehow have now become much more mature than a traditional, I would say, traders. They have uh, used knowledge of the commons and they have sourced almost all the alphas across the internet, which is dist uh, distributed. But now they are essentially able to grab it at one place and they are now leveraging, using and and somehow giving that edge uh, to the end user as well. So LMs now becoming much more mature traders or at least the engine by which you can actually get the alpha. And then you can attach another LLM or an automated trading bot to it, and then you can actually get all the all the complete stack for traders. So AI is helping a lot of traders to go from newbie to an expert level kind of trading, uh, trading behaviors uh, just by augmenting their learning capabilities. So that's where we are with the AI's uh, intervention into the trading space, and it's not something which is new. It has been, I mean, it's all there from since the ages. Uh, since when the trading has actually become computerized, algo tradings are, uh, are, are exploiting these kind of uh, marginal uh, millisecond latencies. Uh, and these things have now evolved into some sort of very sophisticated solutions, which we are uh, able to actually get the glimpse mm -hmm. from, uh, from this ecosystem because these, uh, these things are similarly, uh, similar way these things are now wrapped in the LLMs. So somehow the traders of today are now able to actually understand okay what they need to do to essentially use the uh, the brain power that these LLMs now have. So I think this is democratizing the trading now. Definitely, and AI is helping traders. And like you explained about how AI is being used in trading, and you are also working in this space. So please tell us about X Trading and what unique role do AI play in differentiating your platform X Trading from competitors like GMX, Hyperliquid, or DYTX? And who is the primary user for AI trading tools, beginners, pros, or degens, if you can share all that? Sure. Uh, so there are multiple prompts to this question. So first of all, like how do we differentiate from the existing uh, uh, incumbents? It's pretty straightforward that these, state uh, these uh, existing incumbents have essentially given the platform to the traders which have been using the platform. Uh, let's say these platform, uh, these users are coming from the platforms like of Binance, uh, Bybit, and all these things. Now they, uh, now the decentralized version of the platform has actually become uh, or gaining uh, gaining traction just because recently we saw that there has been FTX uh, meltdown uh, which has happened like a couple right. of years back that has pushed the core narrative of using the decentralized protocol mm -hmm. more and more and more and that has given the proliferation uh, of uh, new kind of uh, tools in the decentralized crypto derivatives uh, so that new pl new players can come and give that experience which they were uh, using which they were getting from the similar kind of centralized experiences so gmx hyperliquid they are all amazing platform but what where we differentiate ourselves as is just from the perspective of the AI invention that we are actually trying to bring in into this whole right. user experience. So we are making it very seamlessly accessible just because we allow people to trade via their natural voice. It is working phenomenally well with English and Indian language. Uh, we have not tried it very uh, many much uh, more native languages, but I think English and Indian is cutting very across and it's giving phenomenal experience. Great. To the user and then it comes to a much more deeper level of things so this part when you interact with it it's like more of a human way of interacting natural voice but now there is another way like how in the world of ai first world we enable the agents uh, with the same sort of tools what humans are using so that way there are another uh, another dimension called model context protocol that allows agents to use the same product which humans are using so the way we have been seeing APIs allow machine-to-machine -machine communication. Now, agent needs to 
find out what you are offering, then they can essentially use MCD, model context protocol. So this angle is actually is a net new angle for the, the uh, for the market in which we operate. This market is essentially going to see much more usage of AI native tools, just like us. But these yeah. guys are behind us, and that's where we are leading the market right now. And this has definitely given us some boost, and a lot of people are loving this experience. More than 25% of the traders now coming from uh, leveraging these kind of AI, natural voice enabled AI tools. And yes, and we have seen some integrations coming on top of our platform via these model context protocols. So agents are also using our pla platform as much as humans do. So we not only allowed, uh, so normally crypto derivatives are a product for DGEN traders. They generally are not, uh, crypto derivatives comes only once you understood the spot market. How does the, what are the uh, risk management that need to be in place for the spot market? Once people understand that, then they go to the derivatives market. Now for the derivatives market, we actually brought down the, uh, the entry barrier just by making it so easy that anybody can use it. What would be the best experience than interacting with the platform in your natural ways? Right. That would be the best experience that we can actually uh, get. And that's what we are bringing onto the table. We are here to not to just invent, invent something trivial, but we are here to change the behavior of traders as well. Of course, eventually they will do the trade as per their intention, but the way they interact with the trading platform, that has not been invented since the ages. That's what we are trying to do here. And yes, uh, now that because of we uh, not only allow a web trading platform, a mobile UX mm -hmm. for people, but we also allow a natural voice enabled interaction. So we think that we have also opened the door for the newbie as well. So we have brought down, cut down the complexity and brought down the user experience to such a natural level that they can actually start interacting, interacting with the platform in a much more natural way. All right, uh, that's quite interesting. And uh, Vikas, have AI tools led to measurable increases in key performance metrics such as trade volume, retention or reduced user churn since launch? Oh yes, uh, more than 20-25% people have come to us uh, start trading after let's say they saw the videos, the demos that we put up onto the uh, social network of our uh, brand. And yeah. then we saw that most people are now demanding, okay, can we actually have these kind of things? So not only that we saw a net new users coming to us, but more increased usage of our platform, more increased volume on our platform. And it's a, it's a amazing that we are actually now getting much more uh, user requests, uh, feature requests coming from the users. Mm -hmm. That also make us very uh, aligned that these uh, improvements or innovation that we are bringing onto the table is being accepted and also being, uh, I would say, internalized by the traders. And then now they are asking something on top of it. So they, they not only are enjoying what we are offering, but they are also using it. And we are seeing around 20% uh, people are actually trying now our uh, MCPs and 20% users have come from uh, using the MCP. So we are able to actually grow uh, 360 degree now, uh, just because we are offering these new touch points or a new ways to use our product. So these are very, very encouraging numbers that we are seeing right now at the early stage. Definitely, that's great. And uh, you know, since you come from the AI space, so uh, let's deep dive into the AI sector now. The sector's market cap today is over $32 billion and AI has been set as the narrative of 2025 by many analysts. So Vikas, how do you anticipate the future of trading with AI agents? I think, I think it's gonna go much more, much more smoother for the incumbents uh, who are providing uh, the existing trade because they can actually extend the same offering in a much more easier way. And it is it is also going to be uh, easy for the newbie who are coming into the trading market uh, without, let's say, very less experience or zero experience. They would be able to, let's say, interact with AI, AI agents, which is not only going to like help him, but let's say they are going to guide them as well. Mm -hmm. So these kind of new way to essentially increase and it will ultimately increase the uh, the market cap of overall industry because net new rev uh, net new users will bring net new revenue into the ecosystem as well. Right. So we are very strongly feeling that that if these uh, smoothness or efficiencies brought into this uh, uh, the market via the AI, AI uh, we will be able to essentially see increased uh, retention, increased volume, and increased overall market cap. Hmm. So apart from the growth, uh, what do you think are the factors that influence the AI market actually or movement in coins other than tech giants such as NVIDIA's earnings and are there any emerging technology trends that traders should keep an eye on? 
I guess uh, largely metros are definitely the key factors when when it comes to I would say yes, single-handedly Nvidia has definitely pushed the whole AI market actually into the uh, production. I would say so the whole GPUs because without the GPUs we would not be able to get to this kind of uh, sophistication in the LLMs. Right. So what I personally feel that the metro is definitely contributing into this this our industry as well, mm -hmm. and we we are very strongly uh, having this uh, I would say assumption that. The the more uh, AI tools now competing for the for the I would say the efficiency that the and the law of large numbers are actually getting applied onto these kind of uh, models efficiency because going from zero to eighty six is still easy but but from from going from eighty six to ninety percent of efficiency is a much more harder task. So what we are feeling is this the the curve of uh, efficiency would would slow down a bit but every ounce of efficiency that we will get now from the LLMs would be would be much more greater than whatever we have experienced till now. So, net net, it is going to go much more efficient, much more useful for us, and not only for us in general to our industry. AI, AI brought, AI bringing, uh, AI bringing all these. Uh, AI will be crunching a lot of data and then yes. bringing signals out of all that uh, crunch data. That would essentially push the whole market forward. So, I think. AI is definitely going to help and going to become a key factor into improving the overall industry. And I would say like in general, the humanity overall. Wow. So any upcoming uh, plans or upcoming updates you would like to share about X-Trading through our platform? Sure. I think uh, we are on the road of uh, leading the pack when it comes to AI cross web 3 because we have not seen any such platform that we are offering right now. We have very strong plans to not only come with the, we, we already have been given the voice enabled trading as well as MCP, but we are also looking at the recent announcements done by few of the LLM providers that they are now allowing a lot more, uh, I would say deeper integration of your independent application, which is powered by AI into their native, uh, I would say LLM. So there are ways by which we can actually hack the distribution mm -hmm. to go much more deeper into the user personas that we are actually trying to, uh, I would say, tap onto. So, so having understanding of the uh, AI things that we have developed till now, plus the innovation that is coming from them natively is going to actually help us reach to the masses that we are actually trying to, I would say, reach towards. So we are very much sure about that, that we are going to do those things uh, very, very, uh, very, very fast. And uh, the roadmap looks very, very strong that uh, now we are going to just be super focused on to uh, easy or I would say interfaces that actually make the trading easy. Mm -hmm. So that's where we are actually going forward. And we are very much excited about uh, enabling voice, uh, enabling trading via voice. And that has that has given us very, very early, I would say, traction numbers, which is giving us hope that this is the experience that people want. All right. Thank you so much, Vikas, for sharing your insights with us. It was great having you on the show. Thank you, thank you, Shaka. Thanks a lot.